That thing that gives you butterflies, that lights you up, that world you see when you close your eyes, chase that with all of your soul, chase it. It's easy to brush off life's potential. It's just outside the realm of possibility. To see the ideal as some form of window shopping that you can almost touch. A fantasy to be explored when you sit back in your office chair or pass time in the doctor's office waiting room. But I think these aspirations mean more than that. Not distractions, but a North Star. Not a diversion, but the path. And by the way, I'm not naive about this pursuit and all that it entails, the truth behind it. I'd never advocate that what's possible or meant to be is somehow easy. In fact, I'd argue the only way something is meant to be is if you're willing to commit to the difficulty in bringing it to life. Otherwise, it wasn't meant to be anything but a missed opportunity. Because it surely will be a difficult road. And here's what we come to learn. Everything of value is difficult. You know, and in an attempt to oversimplify, I often break life down into the easy thing versus the difficult but meaningful thing. And in some ways, sure, that's true. But I can also honestly say it would have been more difficult for me to have stayed where I was, not moved at all, to not have pursued what I believed in. It would have been more difficult thinking about that life I could have lived, the doors that could have opened, and that's just it. Life is about choosing your difficult. The difficult you seek out intentionally, or the difficult you come and let take control, render you helpless. And I think when we find ourselves in routines or we've built for ourselves a world you know, we know we don't want to live in anymore or we've outgrown, it's not that the current is real and the future is not. It's that we, somewhere along the way, decided to face the wrong opponent. Some adversaries make us stronger. They force us to be more, to grow. Other adversaries or opponents, they sit back and they let us defeat ourselves. And that's what we don't want. See, when the world knocks you down, you get to rise again. Wiser, tougher, stronger. But when you keep yourself down, Well, there's nothing to be gained from that. Those two opponents, they are not the same. I reference my speaking career because for me, it's where that transformation is most evident. It's where it all began. My opponent was very much me. Avoiding opportunities, hiding from failure. I didn't give life a chance to knock me down. And so it didn't. How could it? I'd already placed myself in chains. And because of that, guess what? I stayed the same. I couldn't evolve. My ideal future was an idea that would briefly entertain me from time to time and move right on. It wasn't until I found the courage to switch my opponents from myself to the world, I let life humble me. I gave talks where I was nervous and had cold feet. 
keynotes where my delivery was mediocre at best, where I barely got by. But with these battles came metaphorical riches, came that trust that had to be manufactured, that confidence that had to be earned. When I got out of my own way, I was able to let the trials and tribulations of life create a new foundation for me to stand on, to redefine reality. And the good news is that anyone can do that. Anyone can ask that question. Is something external in my way right now that I need to figure out, that I need to solve? Or am I in my own way? Am I not even giving myself a shot? Have I settled for right now as truth? When right now is just the less ideal difficult. When I was little, playing action figures with my buddy up the street, we used to think it was cool to see around corners, to see through walls to know what was coming before it arrived, right? For action figures, absolutely. In superhero movies, why not? But in the journey through life, you don't need to see around corners. In fact, it's counterproductive because it is the interaction with the unknown that matters. It's adjusting amidst life's uncertainty that comes to make you who you are, transforms you and your reality. As far as I'm concerned, the only way to lose is to remain behind that corner, peering out every now and then, hoping to get some kind of advantage or shortcut, willing to let life pass you by while you wait for the stars to align, thinking that that vision of an ideal life will stroll along the sidewalk, see you and reach out a hand. That wait will be a long one, unproductive and difficult, more difficult than trusting yourself to face whatever lurks around that corner. So remember that who you are is built. And every time you do something a little bit scary or unsettling, Every time you wander a step or two outside of your comfort zone, the reward is not just the short-term triumph you feel as you leapfrog that obstacle and carry on. No, you are investing in a new you, a new reality. You're investing in something changing before your very eyes, putting a little marble in a jar that is your potential and you can't see it, not now. No one's going to announce it to you. You might not even realize or understand until you look back years down the road. But those little acts of courage, they matter more than you know. They're not trivial and they are certainly not insignificant. When that movie plays in your head, and you think to yourself, I wish, or if only. And the delta between that image and the reality on the ground disappoints you, gives you a little knot in your stomach or dissatisfaction that floats around in your thoughts. Remember that that feeling is transferable. That difficult can be exchanged for one that actually changes things. You can get off the merry-go-round and towards a new North Star. Difficult, yes, but we've seen the goal is not to avoid difficult. It's to pick the difficult that will transform your life. It's to find meaning in a world that if you do not pay attention, will paint your landscape with routine and obligation. And today can certainly be a continuation of that script a box that's checked, a calendar square with an X, or it can be the beginning of something that gives you butterflies, that lights you up, that brings you one step closer to the world you see when you close your eyes. <laughs>